when Musa, who is the prophet most uh, told of in the Quran because he represents this eternal struggle between the Pharaonic model and, and the Mosaic model, the model of liberation and the model of control, and the struggle still goes on. When he was told to go to Pharaoh, he said, Go uh, to you and your brother with my son. Go to Pharaoh because he has transgressed the boundaries. And one of the views of the Quran, it never goes into details. It always leaves this kind of veiling because the details become very, uh, they become very uh, disgusting of what people do, the details of their crimes. We don't want to know the details. And speak to him gently. Speak to him gently. That perhaps he might recollect and have awe of his creator. This is, this is Moses, the prophet, speaking to Pharaoh, the worst tyrant in the world at his time, and one of the worst in the history of human civilization, a man who said, a man who claimed to be God, and yet the Quran says, speak to this man who's claiming to be me, gently. Why? We have fear that he will do terrible things to us. Or he will oppress us. So this is the human fear of, of opposing power. There is that fear. Have no fear. Have no fear. I am with you. I hear and I see. Go to him and say, Give us the children of Israel, and don't persecute them. This is Jihad al Akbar. The Quran didn't say, Create a, a little uh, cell and go and blow up the pyramids and, and after you do that, assassinate uh, the head of state and then and do this all furtively and secretly and don't tell anybody. He said, go and declare your truth. Go and speak your truth. Why? Because don't despair of, of, of the mercy of your Lord even in your enemies. Because if peace is the one, have less of He's the one that despairs. Never despair. The Prophet said, Ahmed Habibi Khan al Ma, Asan al Kun Bahri al Kun al Ma, Wa Ahdim Bahri al Kun al Ma, Asan al Kun Habib al Kun al Ma. Never hate to an extreme. Never loathe anybody to an extreme because he may one day be a close friend, an intimate friend. I mean, we should be aware of, of hating uh, those who do us wrong. We should be very wary of this. And I'm not saying not to feel righteous indignation because that is a gift from God. But righteous indignation is not anger and hatred. It's, it's, it's something that emerges in the soul when you see wrong and it causes you to right that wrong in the appropriate way. And that is the message of Islam. Writing wrongs in the appropriate way. It's not blowing up uh, indiscriminately. It's not killing uh, people that you don't know uh, whether they're for you or against you. It's, it's acting civilly. It's acting according to the law. And when we do fight, we fight with the rules of engagement. We're not utilitarians. We're not people that believe that the end justifies the means. We're, we're people that believe if the end is noble, then the means must be noble to achieve that end. Assalamu alaikum.